when you started uh, comp- when you started like competing for real, like now you're like no when you started doing the worlds, and it's like 2007, 2008. What's your life like at this point? What's your training schedule looking like? It's just jujitsu, 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 right? I mean, the the jujitsu was the only thing that was not chaotic. Well, what, what what's chaotic? I mean, just life, social life, family life, finances. Where do you live? Where are you living during? I mean, this time? like, I live. Joe Stevenson let me live in his place for like two months. Big Daddy. Just, I mean, I was living all over. I was living in all these places. And your whole uh, existence is just to train jujitsu. Yeah, pretty much. Are you st- are you still with with Frangia this whole time? I went between. I started. This is where I started go realizing that like this one place thing wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. That just being with Frangia wasn't going to cut it. And Mark Lehman was already a big influence to me making those videos. Mark Lehman was the first YouTube, you know, and. Uh, Where's Mark Lehman right now? He was in now? Vegas. He he went back home to Michigan. Does he have a school out there? Yeah, yeah. He's all low key though. Uh, no no Instagram, nothing. He was a beast. But he was very influential, and uh, it's cool because I get to say now I trained with Mark and Dean. Yeah. Because Mark and Dean were the two were big. Rivals, it was like yeah. who were the best Americans at the time? It was always yeah. Mark Lehman and Dean Lister. Yeah. And they fought, and I got to be you know I've spent so much time with both those guys. And um, yeah, you know, I started doing the Mark thing and I told Frangia, Mark offered me a job in Las Vegas, a full-time teaching job. It was my first full-time teaching job and Frangia's school, it was like, Frangia, can you match what Mark's offering me? And he was like, sorry, boy, I can't, you know, mm-hmm. if you want to keep assisting me for free, that's cool. And I was like, well, that ain't man. <laughs> so I went to Mark Lehman and, and like when Frangia gave me my black belt, he tied it around my waist and I had already told him, you know, I was making the move. Mm-hmm. And he like, in my ear, he was like, you know, he was like, boy, go show those guys how we do the Paragon Jiu Jitsu in the Las Vegas. I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you, awesome. you you welcome back anytime, boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, was, so I started going between those two places. And I actually, that's like when I started hanging out with like Rudy. Mm. That's when I met Rudy at tournaments. And Rudy would, I would come visit Rudy. And, <laughs> and that's how I started me- making friends with all you guys. Right on. You know, and, um, it was like, yeah. That's How many hours a day are you training at this time period? I mean, I'm, when, I, I would train in every class I would teach and I would take Mark's classes, yeah. So it was still, it was still, until recently, it was like, you know, four times a day every day. Mm-hmm. Eight to 10 hours on a mat. We take naps, so. How many hours a day are the Rotolos on the mat right now? Like we gotta take naps once in a while. Mm-hmm. Frequent cat naps, yeah. And then like you gotta be in nature. I think nowadays it's different training. Now we do more nature training. Cause just being I'm doing recovery. In, I'm all about recovery now. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's good to be outside a lot. When you With were- Surfing, like, you know what I mean? Like, no, I they taught me surfing. how to surf. I got into surfing, yeah. The totals oh, taught yeah. me how to surf the other day. Nice. So nice. I surf with them. They like, they surf a lot. 